Okay, so now we're going to assemble the Mason B Hotel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to punch out all our pieces and break them apart. Get any of these little bits we don't need out of here. Got our all our baffles punched out there. Now we'll move on to these pieces. So these you can kind of just twist and they should pop out without too much issue. Get all of these little pegs out of there. And push that side. We should be able to pop them all out. So we're gonna need all eight of those. I think there's eight. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of those. Okay, so we're done with that. See, we have our eight little pegs here. And then we'll clean up all the holes on our body panels. <laughs> this is here. So let's take a look at these. Okay, now we have all our pieces laid out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put together our baffles. So, these are just gonna slot together like this. trickier here once you gotta get all of those lined up all at once. Okay, that's working well. Another one. Another one. And here's the last one. Everything's going to go nicely here. Okay, that looks good. So those are the holes the mason bees are going are going to live inside of. Okay, so we'll set that aside and we'll start putting together the body panels. So we'll start with the one that says A in the upper corner. And then we'll go for B. And that will focus, there it is, B. So that B is the square one. So we'll put that square notch in there and we'll grab C. So go with the letter C facing the inside here, like this. And you'll see there's a notch in the back which lines up with the back panel. And then we'll grab D, which has the Creative Works name on the side. Now we'll go on the other side. That back panel slot will wind up again. And then we'll take E, which will slide down on top of all of those. And back panel notches in there. Okay, so 
there's the little house, but we need to make sure it doesn't fall apart. So we're gonna take these little pegs we punched out and those are going to slide into these notches. So these are gonna hold everything together. Everything's nice and tight. Okay, and then there are two more on the bottom. Okay, so everything should be held together securely now. And we'll take the baffles and we'll just slide those right into the house. So, so I have a little bit of wood sticking out on this one. So I just need to make sure the edges are clean. I'll try that again. There we go. And that slides in there nicely. So then we will just grab our piece of string. Okay, so here's the string. We're just gonna tie a little overhand knot on a bite here. So that we end up with a loop like that. We're gonna do that on both sides. So I'll show you that again. So I take a bite on the rope. And then I wrap it around my finger and tuck it through the hole I made and then tighten that up and I have a little loop here. So then the string will hook around these little hooks on the bee house. Hook the other side over here. And there we are. We're ready to go hang it in a tree or wherever we're going to put them. <laughs>